Um, I'm um, Captain Ian Benson. I'd been here for oh, quite a while, a year or two years from now. And uh, then they appointed me as training officer for the whole of aux auxiliary units. So I was like sort of traveling salesman. I went all around, all over the place. Uh, it was, there was a, was a hard tennis court out there that was uh, very neglected, you know. It was just in the front, just literally about 10 yards from the door, 20 yards from the door. And so I didn't know what to do with these things because they hadn't told me they were coming at that particular time. So I said, that's all right, we'll unload them and put them on the hard courts, you see. And we chucked a tarpaulin over them and that was that. And then the next day, we were strafed by a German aeroplane. He came backwards and forwards, machine gunning the place all the time. And you could see this tarpaulin going up and down with the bullets hitting it. And I thought, my God, Christ. Anyway, um, I said to the man, there's nothing to do. You just lie on the floor, I mean, and wait for the bank, because it's going to be a daddy, you know. And uh, so we're lying on the floor, and the telephone rang, and that was my wife who has a rather precise voice. And uh, she said, can't you send that man away? He's very rude and extremely noisy and shooting at him and everything. She said, I'm trying to get some sleep. And then finished up by saying, can't you shoot the bugger or something? <laughs> and I always remember that. It was so out of keeping, both with her nature and her voice. If, we, if a friend came to stay or something, we um, sorted his room out for him so that everything he touched exploded, including his bed and everything else. And it was good practice, but we didn't put in very big charges, but it went off with a crack. And one, on toes, one, one friend of mine at Coles Hill, you know the place, this happened to him, and he got fed up and he slept for the whole night on the sofa in the ant officer's mess. He wouldn't try going to bed again. <laughs> As you went into the drive of Coles Hill, there were more on the left or behind Coles Hill, and there were mess halls for the troops and accommodation. There were quite a lot of regular soldiers there. Was there much in the Including way? a sergeant major. Uh, I moved there as camp commandant. I was... Uh, in charge of um, all the troops there, and uh, the, all the discipline I was supposed to be in charge of. But that really wasn't a problem because all these men were handpicked, and you really, there was no disciplinary problems really. You see, it's, it's difficult really to describe now, in, in these days, um, the tension there was. It wasn't a question, I know it's, things are difficult now and people are fearing losing their jobs and God knows what else, um, but this was a fear of actual life and it wasn't your life that fussed you, it was your wife's or children's or mother or father. Or, it was a, a very uh, highly pressurised factor.